guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you new here, my name is Donna, and for those of you not new, thank you so much for continuing to come back and support my channel. I appreciate all of you so, so very much. Today I am doing my empties for last month, which was, what was last month? April. <laughs> These last couple months are just, I wanted to say March. It's, it wasn't March, it was April. These are my empties for April, and I'm pretty excited to go through them. So let's just dig in and we are going to start with this. This was just a makeup wipe uh, container. It had I think 30 wipes in it. These are wipes that I pick up from TJ Maxx. You all know this drill. I'm trying to stop using these wipes as much as possible. And so I've been picking up smaller packs with just 30 in them instead of 60 and only allowing one pack per month. And I think this is actually that there is another pack in here from the beginning of the month that I put in here for March. So this one I emptied right at the beginning of April and this one I emptied just at the end of April. So about a month is what it's taken me to go through these. I allow myself one wipe a day. A pack of four of these, so 120 wipes, does cost me about $4.99 I think at TJ Maxx. I did go through those. I also went through just one, it looks like, just one new soap. This one was in Spiced Apple Toddy, and you guys, this smelled so, so, so good. This is one of the Gentle Foaming Hand Soaps from Bath & Body Works. I do prefer those soaps. I buy those soaps all the time and in bulk. This one smelled so, so good. It's Spiced Apple Toddy, and it does have notes of warm apple cider, vanilla brandy and whipped cream oh my god i wish this was an all year round scent i did pick it up during the holidays i pick these all up in bulk i buy 10 or 12 at a time and i use two at a time one on my kitchen sink one on my bathroom sink so i typically go through them like two at a time for whatever reason i didn't i would purchase this year round it smelled so good it smells just like a warm apple cider it smells so so good i loved it i will continue to purchase those uh this is a mask that i <laughs> i did and it was so funny because we had uh mask day at work one day and on our team's meeting we were all if I can find a picture I'll put it in here we were all in a face mask and this is the one I did this was the piece that it was on but it looked like a panda bear <laughs> it which is exactly what it says here it's a panda eye brightening mask it was so so nice I left it on for the amount of time that it said to and I would purchase this again I loved this mask it was so much fun and I felt like my under eyes were super hydrated and I felt like I had a little bit of that brightening effect after wearing it for like 20 minutes so it was it was decent I loved it I went through one of these which is my Holy Grail Eye Makeup Remover. This is the Cetaphil Gentle Makeup Remover for face. It is for sensitive skin. It has aloe vera, ginseng, and green tea, and there are six fluid ounces in this. I started purchasing this instead of the Mary Kay Eye Makeup Remover because there's twice as much in this bottle, and it is less it, it costs $10.99 I think regular price and you can get it on a sale all the time at Ulta I was purchasing the Mary Kay eye makeup remover which is 15 plus tax and there's only three ounces in it it didn't last for very long this lasts forever I did repurchase a, a backup of it and I have st since started using that but out of this guy I'm getting rid of this brush because it fell apart. I'll probably see if I can't glue it together and give it to my daughter, but I no longer keep brushes that are broken. I just have far too many to dick around with it, honestly, so I got rid of it. I am getting rid of this guy, which was my everyday makeup application headband 
because the elastic in the back of the headband broke and it drives me nuts. It doesn't stay on my head right anymore. So I am getting rid of that. This, this is the Tree Hut Brown Sugar Shea Sugar Scrub. You guys can get these at Ulta for like $7.99 a piece and these are amazing for sloughing off like dead skin in the shower and they really, I use them every single time I'm in the shower, especially on my elbows and my knees or my legs right before I shave. It does a really great job of sloughing off that dead skin and causing a cleaner, a softer shave and less nicks on my legs because I started using this. So I will recommend this a hundred thousand times. I do have a backup that I purchased. It is currently in my shower and I will continue to repurchase them. They are also on sale a lot at Ulta. So you can get them for super inexpensive when they go on sale. I finished off this. This was actually in my sample series. This is the Amica Velveteen Dream Smoothing Balm for your hair helps curb flyaways and whatnot. Would I repurchase a full size? Maybe. I mean, it wasn't bad. It smelled good. It had a, a nice scent to it. I think I might repurchase it, but it just depends on what else I have in my collection because I have a lot of hair stuff right now. And as you guys can see, I need some dust. I have desperate help needed for my hair right now. I think we're all kind of sitting in that same boat, but not every single one of us has a, you know, fashion color on their head. And it's just so obvious that I am going gray. <laughs> Old AF. So I am done with this. I'm not sure that I would purchase a full size, but it was really good. I am also getting rid of, or finished up, a few more of my NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. I did a lipstick declutter, or well, I did a declutter not that long ago, and decluttered a bunch of these. But these ones, I actually emptied between that and this time frame. They didn't have much left in them. As you guys can see, they're deluxe sample sizes. So there is this one in Copenhagen, which actually looks really dark on the container, but is not really all that dark in real life. I think that it is a really gorgeous color. I enjoyed wearing it. This one is in... Seville is a really pretty like almost nude pink. It's taken a lot for me to get anything on my skin because they're just gone. This one is in Toulouse. Toulouse? I'm not sure what the name of this one is, but this one is, it reminded me when I was able to wear it a little bit of a more nude uh, Delicious by Jeffree Star. That is what it looked like. And then this one is in Lisbon. It is a little bit of a browner tone of these same exact shades. These are kind of the shades that I pull for, so it's no wonder why these are empty. You guys, I finished this. Finally, I finished the Charlotte Tilbury Airless Flawless Finish Perfecting Powder. It is gone, gone, gone. And for those of you keeping track, you will probably see this again in my update on my project pan, which is this Friday's video. I also project pan finished this. It is a contour that I franken contoured out of the contours that I had left in my Kat Von D contour kit, contour palette. How many times can I say contour in the last three minutes? Uh, I finished it. It is finished off. It is completely empty. So I'm super excited about that. Again, that will be in my project pan update. This also will be in the project pan update is the NUMA hair protectant. I really did enjoy this. I would purchase a full size of this. I felt like it did wonders for my hair and probably would have done wonders for my hair if I were outside protecting it from UV rays. And then this also in my project pan update is the Dermalogica Age Bright Clearing Serum. It was just a little tiny sample size vial and I did finish that. I was super excited to have finished a serum in my life. Granted it was this big, but I did finish off this 
blender cleanser solid from beauty blend blender you guys i loved this i know i give beauty blender poop all the time it comes with this little like scrubby guy in here that you can use to scrub your brushes but i loved these blender solids i felt like they really did do a wonderful job a fantastic job of cleaning my my blenders in a like solid soap form. I loved this and I did by chance have a backup of it that I think I was sent in a FabFitFun or something. I'm not sure but I am currently using the backup that I had of this and would probably purchase another one once that one is gone because I did like it. I finished up this Orbe Apres Beach Wave uh, wave and shine spray that was also in one of my sample series. I did try it out in the sample series and then just opted to go ahead and finish it up. I finished that one up. This was a sample that wasn't part of my sample series. I do not believe. I got a little tiny like foil packet sample of Atacha face cream that I absolutely loved. So when it came to picking something in Ipsy the next month, this Tatcha item was available and I thought this was the same stuff. I don't think this is the same stuff. The stuff that I tried in my sample series was like a purple, almost like goo. This was a white cream. So I'm not sure that this was the same stuff, but it was decent. I think it maybe broke me out if I'm honest with you. So... I won't be purchasing a full size of this because I do think it broke me out, but I love that other stuff that I tried. I'll have to dig through my Year of Empties box and see if I can find that little sample packet to see if it's the same stuff. I finished off an eyebrow pencil. This is the NYX uh, Micro Brow Pencil in Chocolate. These are my favorite brow pencils. They're super inexpensive. I did finish this one up. Chocolate is a little bit too warm for me, honestly, so I just used it happenstance with some other eyebrow products that I have and ended up finishing it up. I won't repurchase a chocolate. It's just not, it's just not my color. I finished up a concealer. Holy poop. This was the longest lasting concealer I've ever had in my, well, I can't say that. I have another one over there that's probably the longest lasting, but it's about to be gone because... I think it's bad. <laughs> this is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer. I loved this concealer. I will repurchase it. I did take out the stopper and get everything that was down in the bottle. I love this doe foot. It's like a, uh, just a like ball at the end. And I felt like it was an amazing doe foot for concealer. I loved this concealer and this doe foot. I have... A couple more things from my sample series that I finished up. This is the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. This is amazing. I love this stuff. And every time I use it, I feel like my skin looks so great. The next morning, it looks soft. It looks supple. It looks hydrated. But it's so expensive. So I probably won't purchase a full size of this, but I will keep my eye out for a sale on it or for it at TG Maxx because I thought it was amazing. I That's what I love about the sample series is that you find stuff that you absolutely love and then you find stuff like this foundation that I have on today that I will never purchase because it's awful. My skin looks like crap today. There's that. Then I also have this YSL Black Opium perfume that I finished. This is the only perfume that I have finished using out of my sample series that I think I might actually purchase a full size of. This I smell so good. I love this so, so much. I was sad the day I finished it. This is a perfume that was in my collection. I was going through it the other day and realized that this guy is empty. So I don't know how long it's been empty, but this is the Christian Dior Poison. This was my jam back in the day. I wore this all the time. And there looks to be like a little tiny bit left in there, but I can't get it out on the spritzer. So, and even if I did, I think that it's old. It's super old. I do like the smell of that though. I really did like it. I wonder if it's even still for sale. Man, this is so old. So it does smell good though. I would probably repurchase it just cause it smells so good. 
but then I repurchase it and never wear it and yeah so this is another brush that I'm getting rid of this is the Luxie 221 flat definer I was cleaning it and the brush went into the ferrule down here and I can't get it out so this one's actually going into the garbage and last but not least there is an eyeliner that I finished you guys know that I get eyeliners all the time from my subscription boxes so chances are I won't be repurchasing one anytime soon but this is one of my favorite eyeliners to use this is the physicians formula two in one eye booster it's got a last la oh my god it's got a lash boosting serum in it, which I actually think works. I think it when you're using this on a daily basis, which I do, it actually does things to help your lashes be stronger and maybe even grow. I haven't lost a lash out of my eyelashes in so, so long. And a lot of the reason why I think is because of using this on a daily basis. It just conditions them, moisturizes them, keeps them healthy, healthier than they would be if I wasn't using some kind of eyelash serum on them. I also, in conjunction with that, use the Grande Lash Serum, which is also to help with growth and conditioning of eyelashes, so that also is playing a part in it, but I love this. What I would say about this is it's not the blackest of black, which I really do like a, a black black uh, liquid eyeliner, and this one is called Blackest Black, but it's not. It's not the blackest black. I find that it actually dries down a little bit more charcoal than it does black black so that's its downfall so you guys roll rocket fire empties for you there but I emptied quite a bit the last month and while some of it was you know a lot of it was sample size items that started out in my sample series I am pretty proud of the fact that I did empty so much and you guys will see in my haul for March, April <laughs> why can't I get that in my head you guys will see for my haul in April I also didn't purchase a lot I've just really trying trying to wrap my head around using the products that I have on hand I was even going through my skincare the other day for a friend but also for myself to figure out what I could start incorporating into my skincare routine these days and just utilize what I have on hand versus buying other things. I, I don't need to buy skincare anyways. That's not typically the first thing on my list when I'm looking, but I know um, that I have been kind of perusing the skincare lately when I am window shopping and I needed to readjust. That's really what I've been trying to do is really just focus in on what I have on hand, what I can use. So with that being said, that's all I have for you today. I hope that you guys enjoyed my empties video. These are my favorites to uh, watch. They're also one of my favorites to record. So if you have an empties video out there, let me know. I will come watch it. I will come support your channel. I love empties videos. I love to see uh, what everybody else is using. I really hope that you like this video. I hope that you liked it enough that you're considering giving it a big thumbs up. It really does help our channel out here. I also hope that you liked it or me enough that you're considering subscribing to my channel. I would love to see you down in the comments section. It's free. It's amazing here. <laughs> Thanks for considering it. If you do subscribe, please don't forget to hit that notification bell. I do upload content every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, as well as every other Sunday for my sample series. So I hope to see you guys down there in that comment section. And even if you don't subscribe, please leave me a comment. I would love to chat with you down there. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope that you're staying safe. I hope that you're staying sane. <laughs> And I hope that you have a wonderful Wednesday. Thanks guys again and until next time. Bye.